And JG is someone I do like enjoy enjoy watching. I used to play him a lot. He used to kick my butt all the yes. time. Uh, for me, JG was always like one of the campiest foxes that I've Oh, played. he is the campiest fox ever. I will admit that. But it's it's because he's patient. Yeah, he, it, he knows he doesn't have to overcommit to everything. It's definitely the uh, the, the intelligent kind of ca uh, campy. Yep. But how is that going to work with Saitama? Says uh, Samus, whose primary goal is also to be very zony and campy. Like that's what JD would do. He'll go for single hits like that. He doesn't really he doesn't really extend his combo super hard. Yeah, you can see like just the the space that um, JG is like waiting in. Yep. It's definitely outside of Samus's like burst option range generally. He did get clipped by that uh that Zer earlier, but. But Saitama is buying his way in and uh, trying to extend oh! it. Oh my goodness! Wow, he went so deep for that fair. Dang, the double that, fair? Yeah, the double fair. I think uh, JG was trying to DI out to escape the second one, but he was he still didn't get sent far enough out. So Saitama oh. just it just guarantees Saitama the second hit. Yeah, we saw some morph ball uh, bomb tricks from Saitama. Oh my gosh, is he gonna do it again? Oh, he oh, tried doing man. it again. I almost would have thought like a nair would have been. A potentially scarier option. All right, but JG not gonna let that uh, deter him too much. Yeah, he's. Saitam he's Sy Thomas is doing a great job just keeping the pace up. All right, just going for the down smash. Not gonna mess with the drift. Sometimes people like yeah, actually go for an up B. They like to drift around, mix up people. Yeah, you never want to miss a punish off that. Yeah, it's that always sucks. He, like, he wasn't gonna get a KO with up smash, so he might as well just go for the damage. And I like how JG doesn't really, even if he is behind, he doesn't really change his game plan too much. He's like, okay, I know what I can do. I know what I can't do. I'm just going to stick with it. I don't have to mix anything up. We do have charge shot on deck here. But that reflector is always in play too. Oh. Oh, oh almost. That was almost kind of kind of cute. It would have been. Oh, but the fair covering the forward smash. Yeah, I, I thought JG had like a good awareness of that forward air, it's seeing as how he held shield the whole time the first time he got hit by it. But he's been hit by it a few other times too. At least at the ledge. Uh oh, that down smash is not going to kill just yeah. And that there you go. Yeah. Air covers the illusion straight that, and that will take Saitamus. Yeah, I feel like Sa oh. Sa Thomas like just. Uh, Kind of disrupted the pace of the match. Like yeah, he JG like was not expecting a lot of things, and then it kind yes. of fell out of his face. Yeah, JG didn't. JG wasn't able to play the game he wanted to, and so Saitamus was like, "Okay, he's not going to change his game plan up too much. I can still play what I want to do." Exactly. So we're going into game two. Hopefully, you see some adaptations. Because I would like to see JG make top 24. As biased as that sound, I'm sorry. Sorry, Sonimus, I really don't know you enough. <laughs> I, hey, I'm being honest. Like, there we go. There's the drift mix up. Ooh, okay. Kind of delaying the jab there. Like, he got hit by the first one. I was like, wait, where's the second one? Oh, there it is. Yo, the raw forward smash. Yeah, into the dash attack, too. Now he's got him on the platform. <laughs> I always love what JD does. That. He always just does the little pew, pew yeah. laser. Yeah, he, he'll always go for it just in case he can get that extra percent. I mean, the uh, percent's good. Cut, keeps that lead. Ooh. Oh, he, he dragged him down. Yeah, JG is very known for doing that. I, he loves doing the drag down. Yeah, just reflecting the weak shot that time. I mean, why not? All right, this time uh, jumping away and fading out of the forward air range to get that back air. And cover it. Cover, oh, covering the regular okay. get up. That was so good because the way he like spaced himself after that forward throw, he was like, "Okay, I'm gonna react if you roll in. I'm gonna react if you roll in place." And I'm right. gonna. And he reacted by roll, when he rolled in place. Exactly. And with how powerful Fox's last match is, yeah, you're dead. So definitely seeing JG find, finally find find the way he wants to play his game. Yeah, you can say this is this is woke, JG. He's woke. Uh, Sidemus, Sidem though, I wanna, I wanna see him try and capitalize on uh, JD's not really mixing up. He's kind of, I think he's kind of expecting JD to go for these crazy mix-ups, but in all reality, he's not really doing anything too different. Yeah, unfortunately for uh, Sai Thomas, uh, JG being able to like get his feet on the ground and get himself placed in this matchup 
It's not doing very well for him. No. He's already like getting laughed in percent here. Definitely a kill percent from a, uh, a fox conversion. And look at JG, just no fear. All those, all those fox lasers. Yeah, he. I mean, honestly, that's uh, until he gets the charge shot fully charged. Like, why not? Yeah. He's gonna be able to either react in time or not die from the, the weaker charge shot. And there but we he's go. He's gonna die from that one. Yep, that charge shot is gonna take it for Sai Thomas. He gets himself on the board. Oh, and that. Yeah, he, he had the roll scouted for sure, but Samus's roll goes that little extra distance. Yeah, it may be slow, but yeah, it does cover a little bit more. And JG wasn't prepped for that. I thought I thought that force match was gonna kill. Ooh. Okay, yeah. No. I was he, he playing off stage a little bit here. Wow. Oh, he tried going for the giant spark. All right, yeah, just going immediately for that up smash and the down smash too. But again, that uh, that up air very difficult to punish. Oh, he's going for it again. I, I, don't, don't, I don't think you can get it on Fox just because he's. Uh, I feel. Like, uh, yep, he wait. Ooh, yeah, that was yep. smart. He was anticipating. Sai Thomas was anticipating that he'd have to tech. Yeah. But even if he. Even he, if he, he didn't have to tech there because the you saw him air dodge before he even hit the. Yeah, ground. he uh, he was he prepped himself for a tech for whatever reason, even though the angle kind of sent him that weird way. I think it was because Samus is floaty. Yeah, I mean when you get downered by Fox, you're always thinking about teching. Like, yep. Yeah, even though most, even though you do have a good chance of having an untackable, which is really unfortunate. And honestly, that was the untackable spin. It's just that he was at such high percents, he wasn't put in that situation. Yeah. Anymore. So the, instead of going for the up smash, he just waited out the air dodge. Yep, so we're going to it. another Hype Game 3 set. Again, this is for the last spot in top 24. So, winners, yeah, winner, loser goes home. Or stays in the venue. Well, it stays in the venue and play, stays in the venue and plays friendlies and can't play for money. Feels bad. Or maybe money matches or side bets. Because Slam's trying to just side bet everyone. And, yeah, yeah. Like, you're at a 60 man event. Come on. Who side bet? Uh, who side bet at a 60 man tourney? Alright, but JG right now. Uh, applying the same pressure he did in the second game. Oh, a little bit uh, not far enough for those lasers. Gets grabbed for it. But doesn't get followed up on. Only 10% on him so far. I like how he mixes up whether or not he's going to be playing at, like, like far away from uh, Sai Thomas or when he, like, goes in with that illusion. And there's that oh. up smash. It's going to connect, but not going to kill. Yeah, very close, though. Sam is still very heavy. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, yeah, Pete. Oh, the hypno smash. Oh, very unfortunate there for Sai Thomas. He was trying to wait out the force snatch, but he figured JG would pull the trigger as soon as he saw the animation for uh, wow, he actually, Samus to get up. JG actually got hit by both hits of Samus there, and that did a lot of damage. How much damage did he do? I missed that. I don't know, but he, he wasn't at 53% before, I'll tell you. <laughs> I, I, I don't remember him taking that much damage. Samus is kind of silly. Oh, jab, jab to forward smash. Yeah, you can tell JG feels definitely in control of this match. Yep. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, is he dead? He, he, okay, oh, no, it's Magnet he's Hands. Living, he's, yeah, he, yeah, Samus actually. That would have been that would have been amazing if that ended the set right there. Samus actually has magnet hands. Yeah, literally. Ooh. Oh, I think he wanted the air dodge read into a uh, up smash, but. Yeah, JG is all over this man right now. Oh. Yeah, Sai Thomas. He's just Jimmy. making it look like that first game never happened, and JG takes it in a clutch two-one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely kind of erase the memory of that first game yep. with the double two stock, and JG moves on and to that top is, 24. And that is the last spot for top 24. And now